man, coming after these BlockFi, we got Goldman Gary Gensler. Uh, they call him G3 for a reason. Uh, you know, they, they are targeting these institutions that want to give you savings amounts that are higher than that 0.03%. You know, and now they're sending BlockFi a $50 million fine with another $50 million to state regulators, basically getting fined $100 million here. Uh, BlockFi is expected to pay $100 million in fines to the SEC and other state regulatory uh, regulators over allegations. It illegally, illegally offered a high interest yield product. How, you know what it is? It's illegal because they're paying you more than inflation. No, we got to be uh, stuck behind inflation, right? How do we just get out from under the thumb? Like, how do you say, you know what? No, I'm sorry. We're not paying this fine. We're not going to do this anymore. I'm sorry that you guys are in bed with the banks and you can only offer me 0. 0.00000 whatever percent. Yeah. It's not good enough for anybody. But then you're going to try to target me and say, I can't, I can't earn 11, 12% like on Celsius, or you're going to find BlockFi. Give me a break. I'll tell you how we make crypto uh, the lightning rod, lightning rod for our main uh, topic. You know, there's always a hot topic, a hot uh this is what the narrative is for this election. It could be, you know, war. It could be immigration. It could be, you know, I think voting issues was kind of the hot topics uh, this last election cycle. Uh, the response to the pandemic was going to be a hot topic. Make crypto a hot topic. Make crypto your main topic. And if, I'm not saying if they disagree with 99% of what you say, but they agree with the 1% on crypto, oh, vote for that person. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying maybe weigh crypto as one of the high value uh, you know, topics that you care about. So that's just, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's my two cents here. Hot Topic was DZ's favorite store of the mall. No, it was Spencer's Gifts. All right. Uh, <laughs> the penalties come as U.S. authorities continue to spotlight crypto lending activity deemed to be outside the purview of the country's financial regulations. Uh, the interest account allows you to lend out your crypto for up to 9.25% in annual percentage yield. Uh, so if you had 30000 in Tether, you could expect a return of almost 3000 over a yearly period. By contrast, the average, you ready for this? The average bank interest rate for interest checking accounts, 0.03 to 0.06. So your $30,000 would only get you 9 bucks to 18 bucks for the same amount. So, so this is totally is, ridiculous. How much is the bank taking on that, though? You know what I mean? Because, like, that's the thing. I think that's why they're all pissed off. It's like, yeah, we can't offer that because the bank has to make their money on your money. And that's the whole scam about the bank system, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to get into, like, yeah, fractional and all that. But, yeah, like, yeah, they, they hold your money. They do things with your money. They're making money off your money. But they don't want you to make money off your money. They they want to have a monopoly on the, the hey, I, I lend out money. Because with crypto, we can kind of team together, right? Like, I can't give someone even $30,000. No billion dollar corporation is going to be interested in me trying to let them borrow 30000 and then they're going to give me $31,000 back, you know, four months from now. But when you team with a whole group of people on something like BlockFi, then, you know, I gave my 30, you gave your 10, gives a 20, J Chains gives 40, everyone, you know, pulls together their amount. And then that billion dollar corporation is like, oh, yeah, let me borrow 27 million and then, you know, disperse the rewards equally. So, you know, the Web3, uh, these protocols, crypto allows us to band together and, you know, the powers that be, that's not what they want. You know, that's the exact opposite of what they want. They want us uh, divided, separated and uh, weak. They want us weak and lame and we're not going to have it.